I didn't have space okay. in my luggage by the time I got there. But um, yeah, no. Nah, you uh, didn't have space in your luggage. Yeah, because it was like towards the end of my um, <laughs> my trip. Like I'd been there for like. Because it was NASA. Because it was space, so you didn't have space. <laughs> oh, in your oh. <laughs> oh, he's a bit slow today. Yeah, a bit slow. <laughs> my head hurts, man. What up, hype beast? It's time for some yena. Yeah, this is where we highlight some of our more interesting drops of the past week and we give our thoughts on if it's yena or naye. If you're not familiar with the lingo, yena means no and naye means yes. The general rules are quite simple. You can't resell the items or give it away to someone as a present. So if you say yena, you're basically owning, wearing and or using the item for yourself. I'm your host, Herwin from Sydney, Australia, and I'm joined by my co-host, No Dong, aka Doc Dong in Portland, Oregon, and our head in chief, Johan Caresco, aka JC Hooks in Melbourne, Australia. And we have our guest, Kate F, calling in from Portland, Oregon. We've got item one, which is the new Balance Omnis First Light. This will come out July 9th, probably available on New Balance website and release this colorway at all good sneaker stores. This is not a new model as Kawhi Leonard's been wearing the Omni since his time at Toronto. But the colorway is new, warm and vibrant. The style is inspired by California's bright sunshine and colorful summertime basketball culture. Let's kick it off with our guest Kate. Is this a nah yet or yeah nah for you? I gotta say yeah nah. I'm just really, the, the yellow is too bright for me to be honest. I really like the peachy sorbet tones, but I am just reminded of like traffic gear to not get hit by cars. Which you know what is not the worst thing to have if you're running, but I I would not wear. So my answer on that is yeah nah. Very well, let's go to Noel. I actually quite like these colours. Um if I was to pick one I'd be more the peach one. Peach, I could eat a peach for hours colorway. <laughs> I generally like the silhouette anyway, so Personally, I don't think it's as bright as uh, Katie thinks, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I do like I do really like this. So nah yeah, nah yeah to this guy. Okay, what about you, Yoey? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah yeah. Um, but I just want to know: is it two different colors, or is that the colorway? Like you get one left, the left one is the yellow, oh, and the left right one's right. peach. Yeah. Yep. I kind of like that anyway. So um, yeah, great. I like the the color tone on it. Um, yeah, and it's. I say it's not in your face, it's what it is, but because it'll be different to your uniform. But um, it's yeah, it's a nah, yeah, for me. I quite like the silhouette, and from what you or I've heard you say that they're really comfortable as well, right? H, yeah, they are, yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, they are, they're really, really cool, actually. Um, and it looks um, like they've improved be... the, the lacing on it, or what, what, what was the issue with it? The tongue was too thin. Yeah, the tongue is too thin for these ones. That was probably the only issue. Yeah. But comfort level, like pushing and stuff, they're really good actually. Um, yep, no, yeah, for me too. I think they're great. Um, all right, let's go on to our next item, which is the Fred Perry collaboration with Size 20th Anniversary Kaleidoscope Collection. This is exclusively available for Raffle via the Size app from June 22nd, uh, released on June 26th, so it's just passed recently. Um, so sneakers store size has teamed up with Fred Perry to celebrate 20 years since its first opening stores with an Acid House inspired release. So you can see there's um, polo shirts, there's the hat, um, t-shirts, which is um, with Fred Perry, I find it a bit, um, it's going the other way because Fred Perry, um, from my personal experience, they're a bit more toned down. So this is going the other direction for them. What's your thoughts on these? Let's start with you, Noel. If I put the shirt on, do I turn into that first picture <laughs> where I turn into a kaleidoscope? Yeah. If so, yeah. Na yes. nah, yeah. <laughs> I turn into like a, a, a living kaleidoscope. Um, yep. But uh, for real though, um, I'm going to say, yeah, nah. Because it is, like you said, uh, like with my taste, it tends to, some things are really bright. Yeah. Um, this is, but this is, if anything, it's kind of like a muted, Tie dye, I I want to say, but it's hard to tell because of the way the photos were taken. So, mm -hmm. um, I'll, uh, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, because I'm not sure. Cool. Yeah, okay. it's a bit too bright, I think. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, Kate, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, nah, or nah, yeah? I gotta say, yeah, nah, because 
it, I feel like I, I made these every year for a summer camp, like the exact same thing. <laughs> so there's just zero level of impress. Like, I'm not impressed. I'm like, oh, oh my okay. gosh, somebody gave you a bucket and some dyes. Like, there's nothing that's really novel or newly exciting about this. Nothing wrong with tie-dye. I mean, I'm a big, yeah. I live in a tiny house. I'm big of a hippie as anyone but as far as like something that i would purchase and think that i'm very unique and cool now yeah yep. nah <laughs> then uh okay fair enough uh yoey uh what's your thoughts big yeah nah i'm not a tie-dye guy um i love fred perry too like what you said like you know they were very turned mm. down um you know it was like a like you know like, like classic tennis shirts or whatnot but yeah 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 um what are they doing? I don't know what they're trying to yeah. do. <laughs> it's like opposite. Yeah, nah. I, it, and it's like too baggy. Oh, it's two different things. I just realized. Well, a polo shirt and a long, long, long sleeve t shirt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And look, I'd wear those things if they were like the toned down version, but not this one. Do you guys reckon the model kind of looks like Kyle Kuzma? Kuzma. I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, for me too. Uh, this is definitely not up my alley i um i like that kind of old school kind of tennis kind of vibe that fred perry usually do so i like to stick to that classic look thank you very much let's go into item number three which is a collaboration uh with nasa it's called a nano loft puffy poncho by rumple so you can get these on their website www.rumple.com it costs 249 usd um, so they initially released a 20D heat reflective nylon blanket and Rumpel has now released and added more to this NASA collection which is a puffy jacket. Um, let's start with you Yoi, is this a yeah na or na yeah? I'm like the, I'm a NASA geek so this is a na yeah for me. Um, oh, and it's not so, oh, okay. and it's kind of plain enough. NASA geek? Yeah, I, I didn't know. even know. Oh man. <laughs> hey, I had the Omega Speedmaster, remember? I only got it just because it was the um, first watch one in the moon. But um, yeah. yeah, and I visited the Space Center, Kennedy Space Center. And man, I really wanted to. I should have. I should have done it. I should have bought the. Um, you could have bought the overalls that they wore. And it was like you could oh, wear nice. it as pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I should have bought that. But I didn't have space That's in my luggage by the time I got there. But. Um, yeah, no. Nah, uh, you didn't have space in your luggage. Yeah, because it was like towards the end of my um <laughs> my trip. Like I'd been there for like. Because it was NASA. Because it was space. And you didn't have space. <laughs> oh, in your oh. Luggage. <laughs> oh, he's a bit slow too. Yeah, a bit slow. <laughs> my head hurts, man. Um, but uh, damn, I'd get this. Yeah, I'd okay. have it in the back of the car, just for any time it rains. I'd be excited okay. for when it rains, and then I can just chuck it on. Is it waterproof? It doesn't look that waterproof to me, but I don't have the details. It's gotta um, be. <laughs> well, it's gotta be. It's a, it's a it's poncho. NASA. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I just. Because there's so much rain in space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the time. I should, I should also add that the Puffy Poncho, it actually features 100% recycled 30D ribstop polyester construction. Uh, with nano loft insulation, so I'm kind of um, surprised that it's that cheap. Not cheap, but I thought it was going to be like cheap. over five hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, I thought so that too. Is, that, that is like five hundred dollars. Yeah. That's five hundred Australian no, US. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm surprised. All right, let's go to Noel. What's what's your take on these, Noel? Um, I also like NASA, but I like science fiction. I like space uh, exploration. I like that. Well, I like all that stuff. But that actually isn't the main draw generally because um, I actually own a pair of I own a pair of these. Uh, they're like Nike pants essentially, but they're like essentially down leg leg pant things. And I used them when we were in Utah last year, and because it's so cold, and I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that's that's that'll be great for a little weather. Um, in more of a practical sense um i wish it wasn't white to be honest um because that because i'd use it in the outdoors that would get dirty so that's the only issue i'd have with it but not yet for me i, I really like that um uh yeah i like it that cool. the fact that it packs up into a little small kind um, of little small thing yeah yep. great as well yeah it's good it's compact and last but not least kate what's your take on this 
definitely going, nah, yeah, that thing looks so comfortable. And I agree with Noel. I was thinking like, oh, I'd love to use this outside, but like it would get dirty immediately. But I feel like it would yeah. be great like in an office with too much air conditioning even. You know, that's a nice clean place to just snuggle on up with your space poncho. Um, <laughs> definitely not yet for me. Hey, so H, um, I'd be a astronaut. So I think it rains um, <laughs> poo collar in Portland. That's what I'm from gathering because when it rains, it gets dirty. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what if you're like, just walking around in the rain? It should it be fine. I know, oh, that's fine. Okay. It's more Birds hiking or like fun, when you, if, if it's, <laughs> yeah, or if you're in the forest, you're not like, it's not like an open space. It's like right. narrow. The bushes are You're going to walk through things. So, yeah. You guys prefer a different color, like a bright yellow or a blue, a navy blue? I would go with like Navy blue night. sounds good. Yeah, navy blue, maybe, or like a nice sort of pop, like a, a off white beige. Mm. NASA orange? Light tan. Mm. NASA, I was orange. NASA orange. Mm, I don't orange. Know about orange. orange. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe orange. Like a, Actually, I would wear an maybe orange one. A must- yeah. What about mustard yellow, kind of? Like a white? Uh, not for oh, my okay. skin tone, no. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I- not sure if that's in NASA's color palette. <laughs> what stage. about silver? Silver. Silver. Silver, yeah, yeah, silver, yeah. silver white, blue. Yeah. yeah. White, blue, A space blanket blue. silver. Yeah. yeah. Those are respectable yeah. colors for the great institute of space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, yeah, this is a yeah, no, for me. I'm not a poncho type dude, although it does oh, no. look comfy <laughs> AF, but I'm just not a poncho guy. Sorry. <laughs> that was the best reaction. So, you, you can Katie's like, watch... reaction was like, what? <laughs> Lay in it and watch TV. <laughs> yeah. Poncho yeah, I was like, made, what? Not Everyone <laughs> is <laughs> like, not nah, yeah. <laughs> um, he didn't see that uh, coming, I don't think. <laughs> no, I didn't see that coming at all. I was like, oh, okay. It's, I love that yeah. shit. That's awesome. Always a surprise on this show. Our fourth item, Sean Witherspoon collaboration with Vespa. So they're not sure when they're releasing this yet, but head over to the Vespa website for more details. Um, This is a Primavera scooter collaboration. It focuses on ball mix colors. Um, The scooter is available in the 50, 125 and 150cc options and feature rigid base construction of metal, plastic, velvet, rubber that serves as a clean base for the bright tones. So it's, um, if you guys are quite familiar with Sean Witherspoon um, stuff, he likes to play with a lot of colors. Um, so this is very much up his alley. What's your thoughts on this, Kate? Uh, yeah, that thing is so great. It's like bright without being too like punchy, I feel like. it's unique without feeling like it's, you know, desperate for attention. Mm-hmm. And it looks super fun to zoom around town. So definitely Naya yeah from me. Uh, yeah, all right. So we've got one Naya. Yeah. What about you, Noel? Uh, yeah, nah. More, yeah, nah. Not even not because of what it is, I know what the colors are. It's yeah. more, um, I don't care much for scooters in general. So. George in the um, backpack and zoom them on. Put George like in the George. back. A giant you have not gone on a road trip with George. You don't know <laughs> what that's like. <laughs> I wouldn't. With my dog, it, it's not. That is not a good idea. Open. He he sniffs enough enough of disease, and he'll jump out of he'll jump out of it uh, if he thinks there's a bear or something over there. No, that's not happening. <laughs> no, like the that. I mean, I've written I've written a scooter once. My uncle let me uh, have a go on it. They, yeah. They're actually quite heavy. Like I'm surprised at how heavy mm. they are, and also the weight the way it's weighted. Like yeah. you're taking a turn and the wheels are really small and stuff. It doesn't make it doesn't make sense. So, uh, I mean, I'd much rather ride an actual bicycle than a motorized one of these things. So it's not it's just not for me. So so yeah nah. Yeah nah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yoey. Um, on the same boat with Nolan. This one, I'm not a scooter guy. Um, just uh, I'd rather I'd rather I'd rather have a motorbike, a bicycle. That's. That's um, a good but, reason, Blah. but um, <laughs> if I was living in Italy, you have to, right? You have to. You yeah, have if to. You're living, you have to if you're living in Italy. So I'd only get that. If you're gonna I was eat living pasta in... while you're doing. Yeah. It. 
Rob the Scooter eats hot, or pizza. Uh, pizza, pizza, and pizza. Eat, lots of pizza in each hand. <laughs> if you're living in Italy, it's Ferrari or Scooter, you know what I mean? So, um, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that'd be the only the time baller. I'd get that. And if I was gonna have any scooter, it'd probably be that one. So, but yeah. for anything else, it'd be a yeah, no. Fair enough. Um, I have to even out the playing field, so I agree with Kate on this one. Oh. I um, I'm a nah, yeah, because um, <clears throat> the, yeah, because the Vespa it reminds me of um, my father when we were in Singapore. Um, that's how he got around. He had a oh. he had a black he had a black Vespa though, so it's kind of a nostalgic thing for me. And I just love the kind of the look of the Vespa. It's kind of have this old school look to it. And I think with the Sean Witherspoon um, colors, it's sort of like Kate says, it's kind of kind of cool colorways, but not trying to be too bright. Um, yeah, I just I just like it. Um, yeah, and I would sort of you know wear my loafers in my satchel bag and pretend I'm in Italy. <laughs> Why not? Shirt, Why not? Your shirt button, your shirt button <laughs> down all the way down, and your nipples yeah. are showing. Yeah, <laughs> just and, just and the very winter, bottom, just the very degrees. very bottom yeah. bottom only. Yeah. <laughs> And it wins, yeah, yeah, only one button. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. You guys know me too oh well. God. <laughs> All yeah. right, on to the last one. This is a uh, a Cosm chair by Studio Seven Point Five for Herman Miller. Um, available now for approximately one thousand um, pounds. This is available on the Herman Miller website, obviously. Um, so. Since the pandemic, more and more people are working from home. So Studio 7.5 identified a gap in the landscape of office furniture for a truly ergonomic and high-performing seat. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I've been working from home a fair bit and it is really important to have a sort of comfortable chair. And I thought I'd throw this one in there because I think it's quite relevant for the time, the times that we're in right now. What's your take on this? Uh, let's start with you, Noel. Are you a fan? No, yeah, man, that looks comfy as. Um, yeah. I don't ever know what I, I, I'm. I'm just thinking about what height I want, not so much like whether I want it or not. Um, or right, all color. I'm thinking maybe that red one though. It pops a bit more. Mm. Really depends mm. if it fits with the decor of the place. But, but yeah, um, ergonomic chairs. Um, honestly, like we don't have one in our place. So, um, like, and also the extra working in front of a computer, like every day at home, has been not that fun on the the back so and editing and all the stuff this is like looking at that i'm like i feel i can feel how nice that would feel by looking at it um, you feel comfort yeah. already yeah. Uh, yeah i feel comfortable already looking yeah. at it yeah your, your exactly. back feels yeah. straighter <laughs> just by looking at it too yeah like um i feel like yeah my like my discs have popped back in somehow <laughs> like, by looking at it um but yeah like yeah not yet for sure i, I really like this all right yo we um not i've actually yet, been looking yeah, no. for i've been looking at um, new chairs because this one even though it looks all right it's actually yeah. torn to shreds like it's 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 not even a real leather it's like a you know the pu one the, the fake leather um leather. yeah and it's like there's like fluff coming out of the bottom on this like on the seating thing it's ripped up so i was looking at new chairs and <laughs> so because i started googling them right so er everything that pops up on my instagram is herman miller and because I and then I like their thing, I like their um, page. So um, yeah, I keep seeing this chair, and I really want it. And it's like um, I was gonna go. Maybe I should just get a gaming chair because it's meant to be really comfortable too. But then it's like I'm already spending that much. I might as well go Herman Miller, right? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so it could be a, an option next time you. Which which color? Um, I, Would for you some reason, I kind of like that that light blue one. Um, light blue. Yeah. That pastel blue one it's the baby blue one it's kind of grabbing my attention but um if anything i probably might even just get the black one um i don't know about the red i don't know if it would suit this room um but yeah the blue you one. mean the terracotta huh yeah terracotta <laughs> sorry yeah um the color even the name of the color sounds like perfection to me. <laughs> terracotta oh wow man and um, i nearly settled for a stupid ikea one the other day Big mistake. Yeah, nearly, Dude. nearly, nearly. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know it. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we, we just swayed Joe into getting a Herman Miller chair. Yeah. Um, all right, Kate, what's your take on this? I'm definitely going to go with Naya. Yeah. I, I, 
I'm having trouble choosing between the colors mostly because if you notice, the blue and the white ones have different uh, armrests, which look like they might be better for typing and stuff. So I don't know. I'm, I'm sure that they come in all designs for all colors, but I like all of the colors. I feel like I probably wouldn't go with the yeah. blackish gray one just because it's so standard, but mm -hmm. definitely a nah yeah for me. Sweet. I think that's a nah yeah all around. Um, yeah, for the purpose of buying something so expensive and something so cool, I probably just won't get the black. I'd probably get one of the colors, but yeah, that's nah yeah all around. All right. Thanks for joining us today on Yeah Nah Fellow Hypers. Please like and or subscribe and be sure to click the little bell icon on YouTube to get notified for new episodes. If you're watching this on IGTV, please give us a like and a follow if you haven't already. You can also check out our podcast, The Unacclaimed, also on YouTube and wherever all great podcasts are found. Stay safe out there, everyone. Um, Kate, thanks for joining in today. Johan and um, Noel, pleasure as always. Until next time, everyone. Peace. Peace.